You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today's guest is Jeff Chung, President and General Manager of KBFD TV. Jeff has been the President and Chairman of the Board of Directors for the Hawaii International Film Festival in 2005. So Jeff, a little while ago you talked to me and you said I'm doing you were doing too much uh in terms of community service stuff. You know, can you explain to us maybe other community things that you're involved with? Well, um really the Hawaii International Film Festival just consumes any time that I have. I'm also involved with the Hawaii Junior Korean Chamber of Commerce. But I like to uh help the community by providing a lot of PSA time with any local organization, you know, food bank, blood bank, uh, Cancer Society, uh, Aloha United Way. I go out of my way to do a lot of PSA public uh, promotion for a lot of the local uh, nonprofits. And also, we just celebrated our 20th anniversary in, in the month of February. We had a, uh, a big fashion show with a Korean designer, Andre Kim, uh, who brought three Korean uh, drama stars here as well. And it was in coordination with the University of Hawaii, SITAR, uh, yeah, it, was a, it was for the uh, benefit of the uh, apparel and school of apparel and design, and in that evening, I think we believe ra- I believe we raised forty thousand for UH. Wow! So, do you have any idea what UH does with that money? It's probably used for their program. I don't know to buy supplies or to do scholarships. I'm not sure. Are you planning these special events because it's something that you want to give back, or are people approaching you and asking you to help? organize it and be involved in it? Uh, it it's both. Uh, I, want, I realize that our viewers are primarily, it, it's more local now, so I'm trying to target and do more marketing uh, efforts and community service to the local market uh, community in general and not just specifically Korean. We also sponsor the Hon- Honolulu Symphony uh, as a media sponsor, so we try to promote and help them as well. Is the sponsorship of these events and different help with the different organizations is it to bring awareness to your station or you know like advertisement or you know is there a reason or somebody that had shown you that getting involved in the community is going to build you as a person well uh from the beginning i the role of the tv broadcaster a fcc licensed tv broadcaster in any community should service the community and with that reasoning i try to uh it's not so much for a marketing purpose but just to help the community that I'm, you know, broadcasting in. So if I can help local organizations promote their uh, event through PSAs, I'd rather do that than to do a national spot, so to speak. So are you finding that it helps your business at all by being involved with a lot of community things? Well, I, you know, people do thank me, and I believe we are getting more exposure out there. But I think that is a long, long strategy, long term, um, and I haven't seen the results as far as. Oh, you know, because you sponsored or did this for a community organization, we're going to come around and, you know, help you and advertise this way. But, you know, that hasn't happened yet, and I'm not really looking for that. That's not the purpose of why I do that. It's just community service. The thing that I'm wondering is that, Mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to promote this uh, social responsibility or for people in business to get involved with doing community things. Absolutely. And even if it's not necessarily fully altruistic, to us it doesn't really matter. Right, as Um, long as you're doing good. Right, as long as you're doing good. So we're, what, what do you think about that? I mean, what do you think about people that are, you know, we're all so busy, and everyone, you know, has, has busy lives. Mm-hmm. What do you think about getting involved and, and taking that extra time? Is it valuable? I think for anyone, uh, whether you're uh, in business or not, I think you have to find balance in your life. And for me, uh, business is one thing. And, and my father didn't start KBFD to make just a whole bunch of money. It was to provide community service to begin with. So, you know, although we are a for-profit corporation, it is in our uh, philosophy to really help the community. And um, for me, I, I need to find that balance. And I guess everyone has to find their own little balance, but definitely, you know, uh, helping the community should be a big part of it. I've noticed that um, there seems to be a lot more Korean visitors as well as Korean um, people that are coming to live here. And I was wondering how, you know, your station and network has helped the new generations because you did mention that your father's dream was to have these generations still be close to their culture and be educated about where their heritage and things like that. So from where you are now and where the dream was 25 years ago, can you share with us how that vision was able to evolve and how you folks feel about where you are today? 
The vision is definitely uh, evolving. It's changing as we speak today. Yes, you know, we are bridging that gap through subtitling of uh, Korean dramas so, so that the 1.5 second, third generation Koreans are now maintaining more of their culture. In fact, Koreans who were not as proud to say they were Korean are now saying, you know, that they're Korean and very proud of it. And I think we've had a definite uh, influence on that. But more than that, now, today, Koreans are interacting in the larger community with non-Koreans because a lot of non-Koreans who are now more familiar with Korean culture, you know, they would walk up in a PTA meeting and say, hey, you know, Mr. Kim, you know, I, I love watching Korean dramas. That's almost like the opening line in The Icebreaker. So the relationship between or the interaction between the Koreans with local communities is just enormous. And the power of uh, the media that had influence behind that is just incredible. And I realize in the uh, the community responsibility that is on KBFT, you know, is is definitely on my shoulders every day, and I I realize that. Thanks for joining us today on Greater Good Radio. For more information or a transcript of today's show, please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. This is your host Evan Leong and Carrie Leong saying, please join us next time for another episode of Greater Good Radio Hawaii. <laughs>